boys and girls, if you aren't around here, make sure to subscribe. We are now giving away £160 worth of FIFA points next Friday because of this clip. If we can do the unthinkable and actually win this last foot chance match to secure myself the team of the week pack, I will double the FIFA points giveaway. Boys, I think we've just got the rage quit. I think we got it. We have got it. We got the team of the week pack. If you want to see who's in the pack, go check out my videos tomorrow. But you guys have got your 165 points. So if you do want to be in for a chance of winning it, all you got to do is make sure to subscribe and send me a DM with proof over on Instagram. But let's get into the trading. So guys, we're going to start off low and then we're going to go up throughout the video. So first of all, we're going for a pretty simple silver rare filter. So we're looking at silver rares, center backs, and then Italy. I don't know why I started there. And, and we're looking at, I think we'll probably be around 400 coins here. Oh no, that's a snipe. Lovely. I think these actually go for 550. I think that's what they're looking at. So, if I pop that, let me just check this guy, see if he's any more. No, 550 seems to be the move for that one. Uh, let's have a look. So, if we go back on the filter, I don't know why it keeps doing that. I've had a few filters where it just like seems to clear it. Um, if any of you guys know why, let me know. Um, so, go down to 450. You've got a couple there. And then we go up to 500, there'll be a couple more. Um, if we pop this on 500. So you've got basically two pages there, and then at 550, so on, you've got a few more. So if you go for about 400 coins, um, you can pick them up quite easily. Obviously, this is the lowest budget method of the filter, um, but I did have some feedback from some of you guys saying you'd like some cheaper filters in there. So the first one today is a nice little cheap one to get you going. So we'll do this until we get maybe one or two more cards. Um, it is quite a simple one. And what you can also do, as always, is you can use it as a bidding method. And I do find that bidding methods are really good this FIFA. I've not always got to grow of them or necessarily found that they were very useful which got quite a nice snipe there 300 and um, but i have actually really really sort of come to grips with them a bit more this fifa i found them more useful this fifa and i do think that they are easier to do so for this one if we go give this a go silver rare center back and italy so what we can actually do is if we put the max price to 300 um, we can literally bid on every single card because the thing is a lot of people won't bother bidding on these because they're so close to the 550 mark which is where they're actually going to sell which means we'll probably win i reckon we'll win like 10 or 11 of these now obviously there's quite a lot um, of time left on a lot of these i'm going to bid up the first two pages and then what i'll do is if we do manage to get a fair few um, i will show it in uh, the next video i do usually forget and clear it um, but we will try and show that. So let's move on to the next filter. So sticking with the Italian theme, we've got gold rare centre back and Syria for Juventus. Um, so you've got Bremer there, who I've just missed a very decent snipe on. Um, we're looking at Bremer for 1.5. You've also got, um, let's have a look who else comes up in this one. We've got Bremer, Bonucci. Is there anyone else? Just these two, no worries. So let's have a look what we can do. Nothing at 1.2, 1.4. There's a couple. We did miss the 850 on the way looking at the prices, but I, know, I would have known that was that. I, I literally completely missed that. It's very poor for me. I reckon we can probably sell for 1.6. Um, so what we're going to do is we're going to pick up uh, so 1.6. That's profit, like a reasonable profit, I suppose. Um, I'd say we'll go 1.3, I think, because that's 220 coins profit per card. It's quite a nice profit. It's something that we can be quite happy with. So we're going to go for that. Oh, and we're, we're going to bid, apparently. Um, that was not so good. Right, 10. Oh, we've missed a Benucci, and that would have been a lovely little snipe there. Let's see if we can get another one. I am actually looking around for a drink because I'm absolutely I have the worst dry mouth ever. Um, so that I might have to go grab a drink and pause the video for a second. Um, but then we will we will go on and try and get another snipe. Let's have a, let's have a look, see if we can get a couple more. And then I'll go for my water break. Um, let's have a look. Oh, 1.2 for Benucci now. How much does the young Benucci go for? Okay, so Benucci goes for 1.7K. So it's not too much more. Um, it's about, realistically, it's probably about an extra 200 coins, which isn't amazing, but we'll pop him up for 1.8, see if he can go. And worst case scenario, we've made a few extra coins off of him. We're gonna try and get one more snipe. Oh. Right, because we've missed quite a good one there. I want to do one more. And we got it, of course. Right, we'll move on to the next one. So moving on to the next method, we're sticking with Serie A and all the methods today are Serie A, just to make it a little bit easier for you guys. We've got this one here, 
where we look at Inter centre-backs. Now, you've got Bastoni and De Vrij, both extremely cheap for, for 84s. Like, these are definitely good investment players because these guys will go up a fair amount. Right, I've just messed that up completely. They will go up a fair amount, so you've definitely got a guaranteed profit on these ones. I'm going to say we'll probably sell on for 1.8, which means realistically 1.5 and below for the pickups. We've missed that 1.4 there, but we've managed to get it. So what I would say for these guys is definitely definitely an investment to think about i mean you can go on this bid up a ton of these probably pick up a few um i mean 1.1 is the cheapest you can get bastoni for if you can pick up a few at 1.1 or 1.2 on bid you're definitely assuring for one of the best investments for any spc because every time an spc comes out these guys are going to soar up now we're going to go for 1.4 see if we can get a few on the lower end of things because there is only a small bracket of profit, so we might as well knock it down a bit and see if we can get that, that tighter profit, that better profit, more coins per uh, snipe. So we're going to go for one more, and then we will move on. Oh, I think because of how good that snipe was, we're going to have to do another one. That is lovely. So pop, pop him up for 1.8. Now, they might not necessarily sell at 1.8. I might have to relist at 1.7. But that's not bad at all. That's obviously still a very decent profit for us. So there are no complaints from me. Uh, we might have to do a cheeky 10 count for the last one. So 10, 9, 8, 7, 6, 5, 4, 3, 2, oh, and 1. Oh. Ah, oh, no. Right, we'll move on to the next one. So this one's going to be bringing up a few players we've already looked at. So we are going to get Bremer there, and we're also going to get Ibanez. Now, I'm not sure. I think it is just those two. So it kind of diversifies the filter a little. I know that obviously Bremer was coming up on one of the other ones, but it is a different filter. If you get Bremer in this one, you'll be on much more profit, and this is also a little bit of a lower budget option here as well. Um, I've definitely missed that snipe, so we'll leave that one. So realistically, Ibanez is going for about 1.1. I'd say arguably you could sell him at 1.2, but we'll say 1.1. So EA tax on that is 55 coins. So at that point, we're making 95. At that point, we're making 145. So 900 coins per snipe, decent profit per one. And if we get a Bremer, it's even more. So that is banging. Uh, how much did we get that one for? We got that one for 900. Not too bad. Um, definitely could have been better, but we'll take it. Um, so that, that one's basically the minimum profit there. Uh, let's have a look what we get on the next one. I would like to get like an 850 or an 800 just to show that we can get a little bit more profit out of each card. Um, but we do have an informed filter to finish this one off. So I thought uh, a little bit of a theme, stick with Syria. I mean, you guys can go from the cheapest to the highest, sit there, make your coins as you go. It's a bit, little bit easier for you, um, which I think I might have a go at in future episodes. Just getting something where you can keep a theme to it. You guys will be able to do that a little bit easier. So I'm going to back out and go back in because sometimes that helps when it is these little kind of bugs. Um, we've already sold the Vreej, which is brilliant. So he's already gone. Um, let's have a look. Okay. It looks to like it's searching a little bit quicker now. 10, oh, 9, 8, 7, 6, 5, 4, 3, 2, Ah, oh, right, that's a joke. That is a joke. We'll do the last night. Okay, right, they definitely did not want us to win there. Right, we'll go on to the last method. So moving on to the final filter. This one, we are really sitting in the gaps of profits. So, you want to go for Gold Team of the Week, Defender, and Syria. So, at 11k, you've got Smallin, and you've also got uh, Mario Rui. Now, if you can pick them up at around 10,750, your guaranteed profit... Um, and you can knock them up for about 11,500. So the EA tax on that is, if I just check on the calculator. So it's leaving us with a 175 coin profit, which is not too bad at all. Now, if you want to really tighten this up and guarantee yourself a higher profit, you can go 10,500 and then everything is guaranteed to be about three, 400 coins profit. So that's a little bit better. Obviously with these informs, the only reason they're this cheap right now is because there's been a pack um, obviously, they, they made an error and they've, they've released a pack where you can guarantee yourself uh, an 82 plus team of the week and they did it for a very low price. So players like Smallin obviously be an 82 plus team in the week. That's probably why he's gone down a little bit. This film was more beneficial and um, probably 
Three hours ago, it was brilliant. Um, yesterday, it was brilliant. So I obviously do the research beforehand and get the filters ready a little bit in advance. So this filter will get better as well. So things like, I'd say by Monday, you're looking at this filter being back to normal and being a little bit more profitable um, and a little bit easier uh, to make a ton of coins on. So I'm going to do a 10 count because we should be able to get another one. So 10, 9, 8, 7, 6, Five, four, three, two. We'll call that one a day. I'm just going to check on our transfer targets. Have we got any so far? So we've been outbidded. So he's gone 450. He's gone 400. A lot of these are still sat there. So let's hope. I mean, it doesn't look like we've got some yet. Um, but we've still got the potential uh, and we're doing well off the ones that we did pick up. I've got a ton of informs um, just sat here in the hopes that they release an SPC that requires them. But they have absolutely shafted me today with the, what they did with Heroes. I did buy Rappin uh, today at 216 coins. He is now... 216,000, sorry. He's now about 150. So they've basically taken 70k off me. Now I did manage to do the Hero Pack so I should get some compensation. So that is always good. But I'm a little bit disappointed. So have a lovely day, guys, and I'll see you tomorrow.